Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages. I've been staring into my crystal ball, and it's not looking too pretty. I saw a lot of smoke and mirrors. I saw a lot of different things that are taking place, and I saw what the outcome can be. Pretty scary stuff. Are you prepared? So as we talk about this crystal ball today, what are we seeing in that crystal ball? In this crystal ball, there are a lot of things that are taking place. There's a lot of things that are going on all over this country. I'm sure that most of you probably should be aware of what a lot of those are. Between the shortages, between the lack of workers in every industry, the crystal ball is a little foggy. But I did see when I looked really, really hard, I looked really hard and I looked down in there and I could see the light at the end of the tunnel, folks. The question is, is can we get to the light at the end of the tunnel in time? Are we prepared enough to get to the light at the end of the tunnel? That is probably the number one question. Because you see, the crystal ball is only showing us what is going on and what may take place. A lot of people don't believe that this is going to go away anytime soon. A lot of people believe that the economy is going to go the opposite direction. A lot of people believe that the housing market is going to go the opposite direction. A lot of people believe that there is going to be wars. A lot of people believe a lot of things. There's a lot of things out here to freak out a lot of people. All right? The crystal ball is kind of giving us a glimpse into what maybe the future is. The future is, I guess, what we all make of it. If you're a prepper, your future should be, well, I have plenty of supplies to get me through whatever storm comes my way. If you're not a prepper, you have a lot of, well, I wish I would have done this, or I wish I would have stocked up on this, or I wish I would have known about this. You see, there's a lot of different scenarios for different types of people and different types of groups. Now you have all these hate groups that are out there. Why they're allowed to do whatever they do well, the reason they are is because it's written into our Constitution. It's called free speech. But if you're a smart person, really was to think about it, you're going to try to tune that kind of crap out just because you don't need it. With everything else that's going on, you don't need all this stuff to drag you down. You need something that's going to pick you up. That's going to give you information to get you through to the light that I saw in that crystal ball. You see, that's the whole key here, folks, is getting to that light in that crystal ball. Because at the end of that light, you know, everything is somewhat back to normal. People are going about their daily lives. People are reflecting on what has taken place. And I have a funny feeling that it's going to take a very long time before we get to that light. Just for the fact of what this whole Charlie Victor 19 has done to a lot of people. How it has affected a lot of people. You see, now a lot of people, they're scared. A lot of people are very weary. Um, they are very intimidated by anything that is taking place at this point in time. But the crystal ball did show the light. So if you can stay positive, find somehow to stay positive, try not to dwell on a lot of those different scenarios that are taking place. But that's the biggest question now, isn't it? Because the crystal ball did show me a lot of people aren't prepared. There's a lot of people that will be waiting in lines for food because they didn't take the time or didn't think that it was important to be prepared. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. 
Thank you for joining me and looking into the crystal ball. The crystal ball holds a lot. But you know what? In the end, I think everything will be just fine. As long as you are prepared and you're ready for what is coming. Because we have to get through this storm first, folks. And the crystal ball was, like I said, a little hazy, a little bit of smoke and mirrors, a lot of chaos. But I did see the light. So till next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Thank you.